Hey babes, one question I get a lot is what is in this big gym bag? So I'm here to show you. I think everything in here is pretty essential just for me and my workouts, what I do. So we're just gonna start step by step what's in the very top. This is a barbell hip thrust pad. It is the Elevator Fitness brand. I got off Amazon, I think for about $20. And this is great to protect your shoulders and your hip bones if you're doing hip thrusts or any kind of barbell movement. So that's the first thing. The next thing is your own water bottle. Not only are we saving Mother Earth by, you know, not having to buy a million Dasani bottles, but this holds a lot of water and you can refill it at the gym in the water fountain or whatever. I just like to have my own bottle. Next, we have, I showed these in another video, but these are ankle cuffs. They're great to have your own if you're doing kickbacks, if you're doing some kind of weighted ab movement with the cable machine, just because these are a hot commodity at the gym and a lot of times somebody's using them, somebody's taking them. So I just bought my own, actually they were a present. Um, and absolutely a must if you are doing glute exercises. Next is a notepad. This is super helpful because every time I go to the gym, I plan out my workout. That way I'm not just wandering around or, you know, kind of give up and just go home. So I write down what my workout is going to be. And somewhere in here, we'll find it in a minute, there's a pen. So, you know, it's kind of motivational to check off what I've done and then know what I have left and, you know, keep up with my workout. After that, I have my resistance band. I've also shown this. This is a skills band, again, off of Amazon. This is great for any kind of lower body movements. Some gyms have them. Again, I just kind of like to have my own germs and such, but also just convenient. Then, absolutely essential is gum, whatever your favorite flavor or kind is. I love this. I don't know, it just keeps my mouth nice and hydrated. I don't know if that sounds weird, but um, it's just nice to have that while you're working out. Now we're going to get personal here. These are witch hazel wipes. These you can use for just about anything. If you want to wash under your arms, wash underneath your breasts, whatever. I personally use them for my girly area just because it's not good to get hot and sweaty in your tight gym clothes and then go back your day. That's not good for your lady parts. So I use these after I work out. It's not only nice and refreshing, you feel clean, but it holds you over till you can get a shower. So, you know, you're not risking any kind of infection. Another great thing are facial wipes. This is, I was breaking out terribly. I wear a cap the majority of the time when I work out and I was just going, you know, about my day. I usually try to make one trip out because I live in a really trafficy area. So, you know, I was wearing that sweaty baseball cap. I had sweat all over my face and I wasn't washing it off. This has helped my skin so much just, you know, to be able to wipe off all that sweat and feel nice and clean. Next thing, I have this little bag. It's kind of old and gross, but just to keep the smaller things, always an extra hair tie. I sent my, picture, my sister a picture the other day, the hair tie that I had in my hair snapped and I had absolutely nothing to put my hair up with. And that is the worst thing that could happen to me at the gym. So I always keep an extra hair tie. Then I have spray deodorant. This is good because like I said, I want to make one trip while I'm out so you're not offending others with your stanky self after you've worked out. So freshen yourself up. Headphones. I cannot stress enough. This will make your workout so much quicker, better, more enjoyable. And I really like the cordless ones. Um, they're just way more convenient, not getting caught, and I have the beats, which are totally worth the money. Um, another thing I carry is this is actually, I had Jaybirds before, this is just a little pouch, but I take off my diamond ring because I'm not, I don't want to work out in it, and I just put it down in here, so, you know, for safekeeping so it's not rolling around. And because I have my nice, beautiful diamond in there, I bring my own gym lock. You know, hopefully everybody can be trusted, but you can never be too safe. And then here's my pen for marking off our list. Another good thing is chapstick. Having like dry lips is the worst thing. It's kind of like having no gum. And then kind of as a bonus, if I have somewhere I have to go, you know, other than just maybe run a couple simple errands, like if I have an appointment or something to go to, I have to go to the bank, whatever. I have a couple of extra things that I like to use. Um, this is just some perfume just to make yourself smell even a little bit better. 
Uh, this is Too Faced. It's a face refresher. It's just kind of after you've you know cleansed yourself with the little wipes, you can spray this on to hydrate, kind of like moisturizer. Uh, toothbrush and toothpaste and floss. This is super good, especially if you have, you know, like you're going to a meeting or something like that. Um, and then deodorant, I would use the deodorant and the um, perfume rather than the spray deodorant. And last thing in here, oh, dry shampoo. This is a must, and here's a tip. If you have sweaty hair, the dry shampoo is not going to do anything. Most gyms will have a blow dryer, so if you just, you know, blow dry the spots that are wet, spray some dry shampoo in and then brush it out, put your hair in a bun, you are good to go. So that is everything in my giant gym bag, but I think that out of all of these things, it really makes going to the gym easy and enjoyable and I have absolutely everything I need. So I hope y'all found this helpful. Comment below what you keep in your gym bag and I'll see y'all next time.